Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're doing our last S SAS uh, project. Uh, we want to extend one set of CSS styles to another element. SAS has a feature called Extend that makes it easy to borrow the CSS rules from one element and build upon them in another. For example, the below block of CSS rules styles a panel class. Uh, it has a background color height and border. So background color height of red, heights of 70, and a border of two pixels green. Um, so now you want another panel called big panel. It has the same properties as panel, but also needs a width and font size. It's possible to copy the, and paste the initial CSS rules from panel, but the, but the code becomes repetitive as you add more types of panels. So yeah, you don't want to have to, you don't want to just copy this and then paste it into the big panel. It's better to just be able to say extend.panel. And then that way you can kind of have this, um, this cascading style in your code. It makes it so you, um, don't repeat yourself often, which is a sign of good code. Dry code, or don't repeat yourself. D-R-Y, don't repeat yourself code. And so this is a way to keep your code dry. Uh, now you want the panel, okay, but also needs to think. Okay, the extend directive, okay, that's sorry I went over that. The big panel will have the same properties as panel in the additional settings. So we want to make a class info important that extends info and also has a background color set to magenta. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to make a uh, class. So we want to make it info important. And we want to extend info. So at extend dot info. Uh, no brackets. And then we also want to make it so it has a background color set to magenta. Okay, so now you see info is here. Let's comment out uh, extend. Uh, yeah, comment out extend and you'll see that the magenta Im info important, which is the uh, initial, this, this div, does not have the same thing. What's, what is this, the border, the info border has a width of 200 pixels, so this is the width, a border of black. You'll notice the magenta one doesn't have a border of black and it has no margin. So right now, this one just has a background of, of magenta, and it does not have the width and the border that this one has. But we want to make it so that this element has the same characteristics of this without having to copy and paste it in there. We could just do this, which would effectively act the exact same way, but we don't want to do that. We want to have our code not repeat itself. And so what we do is we just extend this the info class, which is this one. And that's how we have um, code that doesn't repeat itself when we're writing SCSS. Anyways, let's run the tests. Looks like they pass. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.